Um, no, finally, I have had a Jamaican on my, on my YouTube channel. I want people to hear how different or how similar our accent may be. I don't know if they may be able to tell the difference or not. What you think? They don't wanna see me push the button when I'm spinning. They don't wanna see me living while they so offended. I don't understand it. They don't wanna see me spinning. They don't wanna see me written at the penthouse while they rather see me spinning. Que tal mi gente? Welcome to another episode of my world. If this is your first time on my channel, I would like to invite you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with all the latest of videos. So guys, on this episode, I actually brought in a friend of mine. Make she tell me a little bit about Jamaica. Not only that, but she also do like traces of family histories, you know, so we share a little bit about blue fees and Jamaica and well, you know, make sure you tell the rest of the story. Alright? Hope you guys enjoyed this video as we did making it for you. So guys, I'm right here with Mrs. Keisha. Keisha is actually from Jamaica. So Keisha, I know you have um, been following me on YouTube for a minute now. And you see my videos, them that be saying that Jamaicans and Nicaraguan song the like. What do you think about that? I agree. Very, very agree? similar. There's some differences, but it's very much similar. What would you say is so similar about it? Certain phrases that you use are the same. Some of the phrases that we that you use we use not all of them but some of them for the most part okay. and you may pronounce it a little bit different but did you thought that was jamaican to the first time you run up on my channel no i just knew that you i knew the accent was similar to me you sounded like a panamanian like people in my family you're saying you're a people in panama so you're saying you have family in panama too right from yeah. bocas have you ever been Bocas to Panama? Nope. I was supposed to go last year, but because of the COVID, I didn't make it. So we have to plan again. So have you ever met these families then before though? Yeah, but not, they, it's not my mother's side, my, through my grandfather. I've met some. Do um, all of them over there speak Spanish to all of your family? They speak mostly the Creole and very little Spanish because I don't know if you know the history of the, that side. Bocas del Toro is like, that's the English speaking. Oh. Some spoke, speak Spanish, some spoke Spanish for whatever reasons they did, but they got their education from an English speaking uh school because that part sided with the English so that plays a big role all right and it has that, that particular area has a history because they they were like adamant about not being Latinized what similarities Jamaica have with Panama a lot of the slang a lot of the slang words used um a lot of the food um the music in fact reggaeton it, it originated in Panama but it's because of the Jamaican ancestry that they, they had that they came up with that that flow of music, you know? Like a lot of the a lot of the manner mannerisms is very much the same, you know, okay. and it's like basically it's all of the West Indies. We're from the West Indies, so we have that so, that um connection. So you have a little bit of Latina in you then. So Latina running in your bloodline too is what you're telling me. Un poco. This is the story. My grandfather, from what I was told, spoke Spanish, but because my grandmother was from Jamaica, he didn't have anyone to communicate, so he didn't speak it that much. Oh. So my his children, like my mom, I, I didn't learn it because my mom didn't speak it. Mm. Did you get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. the story with that. I don't know it fluently like I should, but he didn't have anyone to converse with. Was you just like automatically attracted to the Latin side? Or you did your research on that and then you start like coming towards it? Honestly, I felt I feel connected to the Latin side. I, I have a connection with it. Music, mm. food. I just I'm just drawn to it because I have a obviously there's a connection there. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. within me. So yeah, okay. it's like to me one and the same. You're saying that you speak some Spanish too, like how, how good is your Spanish? And I scale from one to ten, right? No discrimination. I'm gonna tell you right now, maybe like a five. Well, I sound pretty good to me. Half is better than zero, right? And honestly speaking, it's what's so funny about it is, is that when I hear certain Latinos speaking Spanish, I understand certain ones more than I would understand another. Like people from Honduras, for some reason, it's easy for me to pick up their Spanish versus someone from like maybe Puerto Rico or um, Chile or Argentina. You know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah, the get, Spanish yeah. is a little bit different. So it's hard for me to kind of grasp it. So come, some speak it faster than others, put it that definitely, way. Definitely, definitely. You know? So we shouldn't have the Spanish out there you think is the fastest when you hear it sometimes people from dominican republic i've heard people from that, that castilian that castilian spanish from spain i can't it's hard for me 
I wanted to ask you, what is something that you can tell us about Jamaica? What part of Jamaica you represent? Well, my mom, I represent all of Jamaica. My mom's side is from Spanish Town, okay. St. Catherine area in Clarendon. My dad's side is from the South Coast area, St. Elizabeth and Manchester. So, Do you miss it? Yeah, I love Jamaica. I, the last I, I went was um 2018. That's home. I love it, you know? Okay, what about if you was to like recommend a place in Jamaica, like for someone that never been, where would you just tell them go automatically? I would say Manchester. I did not even know oh. there is a Manchester, you know, um, over there, so. Yeah, any, anywhere that the English were, they're going to find their names all over. That's a place in England. I hopefully I could go one day. And another thing that I wanted to let the people them know, so when I first started to you tell me say that you is all into these family tree thing and stuff like that, and come to find out also, you know I've been talking about Jamaica and Nicaragua and our affiliation, right? Came to find out say that you have family in Nicaragua as well. Right, with links to Bluefields. You have any planning visiting Bluefields maybe to... I would love to. I want to. I really, really want to go. But how would you like imagine yourself fitting in down there? I think I'll blend in quite well. You think people would actually feel like you're from Bluefields? They'll know I'm from Jamaica. You think so? They'll probably. They'll know. Because, I mean, Bluefields, is, is, a, is it a small community? If it's a small community, they're going to know that I'm not from here. I also ask you a little bit of my family tree and you did a research for me and you came to find out said that my family is in Jamaica as well. Yes. Can you Myers. Tell, can you tell what about the Allen? Did you do the Allen part or you only did the Myers? Um actually there's a lot of Allens in Jamaica, um San Elizabeth. Yes, I have I have relatives that are Allens. Um my Griffiths line married into some Allens. I don't know, you know, as far as I know they're from Jamaica, but who knows where the history will lead. You know what I mean? If you go as you go yeah. further down the line. But definitely, Allens are in Jamaica, St. Elizabeth. And what about the Myers then? Myers are in St. Elizabeth. Saint and Elizabeth. Um, Myers um, is actually a Jewish surname. It's a Jewish last name. Mm. Um, they, they were Jews that came over to the island. They say they, they were pirates, buccaneers and pirates and things like that with those names they came over. So a lot of us carry those names that they had. I never knew like from where they where my family tree started from since like we growing up they never teach us these things that I'm learning as I go, you know. But I would mm -hmm. definitely want to like visit Jamaica and see like how how similar we is and if you know maybe if my family over there would even accept me or give a talk I that maybe family with them. I think you'll blend right in. And actually I would say I would even definitely say that your ancestry is most likely your root is in Jamaica. You were born in Nicaragua, but when you when you go down the line, your ancestors, they most likely came from Jamaica. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah. You know, especially from Bluefields. Do you think many Jamaicans know about us Bluefields people? Not many. The only Jamaicans that will know about you are the ones that are actually doing the research, and that's into genealogy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I definitely brought it forth in some of the forums that I'm in on Facebook, so they do know. And because we're finding more relatives from Nicaragua. They, a lot of people are, are getting that knowledge now and they're seeing that we're related. And the reason why I say that also because I come across Jamaicans a lot of time and I come across rest of Caribbean people, right? And when I mention Bluefields, they usually don't even know where Bluefields is. At. Most likely, they will hear of Nicaragua, but not Bluefields. And what's crazy is there's a Bluefields in, in, is in Jamaica and Westmoreland. And the, when I, the last time I went, my uncle took me, we went, to, we went to Bluefields Beach. It's in Westmoreland, right next to St. Elizabeth, so it borders. And um, it's very, it's a nice beach, but it's very, it has a lot of stones, a lot of rocks. Mm. And you know, you go on the water, people there selling sugar plums and vegetable and all that type of things like that. But the history with Westmoreland, Bluefields Westmoreland is tied into Nicaragua as well because of the explorers that, were, that came, mm -hmm. you know. And you said um, also there is some mosquitoes people also in Jamaica as well, right? Absolutely, yeah, because the English, they formed an alliance with a mosquito. I'm pronouncing that right, right? Mosquito. Yeah, mosquito. <laughs> the English, when they came over, they formed an alliance with the mosquitoes in Nicaragua. So they became a protectorate. The mosquitoes became a protectorate for the English. Have you ever met any people that is mosquito from over there in Jamaica? No, but let me tell you this. They don't know that they are. I, I, I'm going to oh. say, yeah, I did, but they don't know because based on DNA, because I studied the DNA as well, 
A lot of the people in St. Elizabeth, particularly, when you when they do the DNA test, they always have a percentage of the Central Indigenous Central America, and that's mosquito right there. Yeah. It tells you right. They're mixed in with them, and what they were doing was they were, you know, during enslavement, they were bringing a lot of, the mosquito were capturing a lot of the indigenous people from Nicaragua, the women mostly, and bringing them over to Jamaica. And they would interbreed with, you know, Jamaicans there, children. Yeah, they were doing that a lot, as well as with the, with the colonizers, they were, they were interbreeding with those people as well, you know, Mm -hmm. on the island. So that's the DNA and the mixed blood. In your country, right, what is something that you would like to see different or better? I would like to see more of the people, the, the, the natives, um, more people employed and getting a fair chance in life. Um, more education is, is um, free and, and more people can be educated without having, having to have money mm-hmm. um, because education is, is key. And just for like the ones that are doing like farming, for them to get more support from, from the government. Okay. Um, you know, so they can flourish instead of it just being based off of like tourism. Yeah. Because that's, you know, that's how it is in Jamaica right now. It's just, it's not a, it's not a, it's not equally distributed wealth, you know. Yeah. And that's like that everywhere. So that's one of the things that I would like to see change. Um, and there'll be, there'll be less poverty, less crime, you know, that's one, of, I want to see less crime in Jamaica. And that's part of the reason why the crime is so crazy right now, you know. Another thing that I have noticed about Jamaica, right, because I've been following all these artists them from a long time, uh, so I see that there is a lot of Asian people in you guys' this country. Like Asian? Asian people, like Chinese or what, wherever they come from. A lot of them, actually, the Chinese have bought a lot of Jamaica's land, which is not, to, in my opinion, not a good thing. They own a lot of Jamaica, you know, they, they, they help build the highways. Um, they own a lot of the stores. Um, it's just not a good look for me when I'm when I look when I look back. It's not it's not good for our people. You know what I mean? Yeah. To have like outsiders coming in and, and just this beautiful rich island and you're just giving it selling it, just giving it away. You know what I mean? Our ancestors worked hard on that land. Yeah. So I it's not that, only Asian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ask that because I know um like in this part. Of Nicaragua called per um Cal Carn Island. As well, there is a lot of people that come from over this side, you know, that may have a little bit of money and just go over there and start buying all the lands them over there and start putting their businesses and stuff like that and taxing our people and shit like that. Absolutely. And you know what else? It's 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 become so westernized now. Like I remember going to Jamaica in the 80s, like 90s versus now, it's totally different. Everybody want to be westernized. Everybody want, everybody want McDonald's. Everybody want KFC. Everybody want, you know, eating all these fast food things. And it's just not the same anymore mm. because you, the culture is like, it's, it's infiltrated with so many different things of the Western world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what is, um, what is one of you guys' most popular celebration over there in Jamaica? Um, Independence Day is a big one on August 6th every year, you know, when Jamaica supposedly got its independence from um, Britain. Okay. Um, that's a big celebration. Also, Emancipation Day when, when slavery ended in Jamaica, um, that? 1838. That was the year 1838. Actually, you know, they, they passed the law 1834, but slaves had to still work as apprentices. They had to still be in a plantation for another four years as apprentices before they were actually given their freedom. So how big is the influence of Spanish in your country? The influence of Spanish right now in the country is not big right now, but they're trying to in, they're trying to encourage students to learn Spanish. They're trying to push it in the, the curriculum now because um, Jamaica was Spanish ruled before mm-hmm. um, Britons came in. Okay. Um, but then don't teach it in the classes them or anything in school. I, from what I understand right now, I'm going to I'm going to tell you yes because I heard within the past two years that they were doing that now, but they, they weren't doing it before. Prior to two years, no. I ask because I do also have a lot of followers that is Jamaicans and I see that they are trying to learn Spanish as well. So I just wanted to right. know how big the influence is down there, you know. Right. I think it's growing now. It needs to grow even more because I think we should be bilingual at least, you know? Mm. We would have been Spanish if the Britain didn't take over in 1655, we would have been speaking Spanish fluently. Can you give me like 
maybe two phrases that Jamaica use that you may think that Nicaraguans don't use per word. It doesn't matter. Frock. Frock would be like a dress or something like that. We use yeah. that word too. Oh. Okay, like say the girl over there a Kimbo. The girl over there are Kimbo. Kimbo. So Kimbo would be like a pose. Kimbo is like standing yeah, like she's posing, this. right? Like she yeah, just like you, see, you, know, <laughs> you know, I don't I don't think there's any word that you guys don't use that we use. <laughs> no, I ask because like I be going to like um like online and I'm looking at some Jamaican phrases. I follow these um, girls them name um extra yeah. Caribbean. I don't know if you heard of them. It's a Belizean girl and a, a Jamaican girl. Oh and no, that's nice. Yeah, I I will leave the link so maybe you guys can go and follow them. But they be doing like um yeah. comparing like different culture as well too. And this Jamaican. Wow. The Jamaican girl was using some phrases that I never heard that Jamaican use, but I it's been a long time since I heard about Kimbo. Yeah, it's like an old phrase. It's an old phrase, you know? I thought I'm glad um, that you brought that up. Okay, so how about we speak Spanish a little bit before we end this end this conversation? Now you want to put me on the spot. Here we I go. don't want to put okay. you on the spot. I mean you can do give the best as you can, right? Um, whatever word you don't know, you can spanglish it up break it down because that's why that's why we're bilingual right we spanglish up yeah okay let's, let's shoot see let's go y entonces <laughs> dime Keisha, ¿qué planes tienes hoy? um hoy me, me voy a um luego a fiesta oh vas a una fiesta fiesta de quién mi um mi prima mi primas amigo amigas okay okay Entonces, Kisha, ¿cuándo tienes planeado regresar a Jamaica? No sé, yo no sé. Maybe, maybe, not this year, but next year. Tal vez el otro año. Tal vez. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo llevas aprendiendo, practicando tu español? You asked me something about practice in Spanish. Y sí. Cuatro años. ¿Alguien más de tu familia habla el idioma español también? Mi mamá un poquito, pero um, nobody else. Nadie más. And, yeah, and, and mi abuelo, and he's no longer here. So, you know, it's like, it kind of, and all those elders that are Panamanian, they're, they're in Panama. Like, nobody's here from really Panama that we can, you know? Mm-hmm. ¿Tú, ¿Tú le enseñas español a tus hijos? Um, no. ¿Por qué? Porque no, no, um, no ahora. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to um, learn more. I need to be more. I need to. I need to. I want to learn it where I can flow. But I, like you said, I, I have to speak it every day and converse every day. I understand. I mean, it's okay. You know, I just wanted to give you a little test on on your little Latin side. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? Speaking of Nicaragua too, I have a. You know the work that I do. I work with one parent. She's from Nicaragua. She's um Spanish speaking. You know, she's not from Bluefield, though, at all. She mm-hmm. speaks Spanish. She doesn't even understand English that much. So I converse with her a little bit, you know, so I learned like that, too. And that's good. Yeah. That's good. Well, you know you can always practice with me whenever you want to. That's fine. Yeah. And guys, um, I don't know, you said you, you're about to get your um, certificate in the whole um, lineage for the family yeah. tree thing, right? So, guys, you guys are more than welcome to follow Keisha on her Instagram if she wants, right, Keisha? I don't know. That's sure. what you, do. you know, she does yeah. talk a lot about family tree. She may be able to help some of you guys also to find last family like myself. And, um, yeah, Keisha, I just wanted to tell you thanks for sharing this information with me and joining us here. Um, no, finally I have had a Jamaican on my on my YouTube channel. I want people to hear how different or how similar our accent may be. I don't know if they may be able to tell the difference or not. What you think? I think they'll they'll hear a little slight difference. Well, Keisha, thank you. Um, I'm gonna leave your Instagram down in the bottom for people who want to follow you. Um, you guys can practice your Spanish with Keisha also. And check out her, man. She's really do what she can give you, provide you guys with a lot of information. Right? Yes, I sure will. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Keisha. See ya. All right. Take care.
Bye-bye. Life too fly to be stressing. Stressin'. Throw trouble away and take your blessing. Blessin'. Every day is a new lesson. Blessin'. I'm not perfect, but I am progressing. Always shoot my shot, they step up, then I fade away. Wait. Music like the only how to get me through the day.